we are excited to introduce Brio, a four-channel gate router that brings a priority logic of traffic into a more modular and flexible form. With Brio, you can now achieve traffic-style CV control using the mixers you already have in your case. If you're not familiar with traffic and how it can enhance your rack, especially for expanding drum sounds, we have linked to the traffic video in the description for you to check out. Traffic style CV control allows you to virtually trigger multiple drum sounds from a single macro oscillator. When we released traffic, we saw some online feedback suggesting that its functionality could be replicated using just a matrix mixer. However, the specific priority system used to determine which gate is active cannot be recreated with a mixer or logic modules. Until now. When using a plain matrix mixer, two main problems arise. First, if two or more inputs are active simultaneously, their voltages are summed at the output, losing the carefully dialed-in levels and resulting in unexpected sounds. You could sequence your drums in a strictly linear way to prevent overlap, but that sacrifices both performance flexibility and any chance of rhythm randomization. Second, a matrix mixer only holds the output CV while a gate input is high. This means your modulation might drop before your envelope completes, cutting off the sound during the oscillator's decay phase. Trying to fix these issues with logic modules quickly become impractical. Based on the logic used in traffic firmware, you need to convert gates into triggers, negate gate signals, set up multiple AND gates per channel, and hold voltages using individual sample and hold circuits for each channel. Even using multiplexer doesn't simplify things much. You still need one per channel along with all the logic to handle priority. That's why we made Prio. If you already own or plan to buy a new matrix mixer, Prio is the piece that unlocks proper traffic style control. While Prio doesn't include every feature from traffic, like its random modes, it introduces entirely new capabilities that we'll demonstrate next. In addition to traffic style routing, Brio adds a couple of powerful new inputs that open up creative possibilities. One CV input that lets you select which output is active using modulation signals. One clock input that steps through outputs, turning Brio into a four-step gate sequencer. In this video, We'll demonstrate the basic traffic style functionality as well as the new CB and clocks features. Traffic mode. Start by connecting four gate channels to prior's inputs. You'll see the priority system in action. The top input has the highest priority and the bottom input the lowest. This ensures that only one drum voice is triggered at a time, creating a clean linear drum sequence. Connect the trick sum output to the trigger input of the module you want to control. Whenever a gate is received at any input, Prio sends a trigger from the trick sum output. Connect Prio output 1 to your mixer's first input and dial in a kick. Connect output 2 to the second input and find a snare. Use output 3 and 4 for percussions and hi-hats. CV mode. By connecting a CV signal to the CV input, you can select which output is active. This opens the door to glitchy, randomized drum sequences. Instead of sequencing with traditional gate sequencers, you can loop a CV signal using modules like a drilling machine or pamelas. If your CV signal is not step or has slew, it can create additional glitch effects. If that's not your style, or if you don't have access to step CV, you can use the clock CV mode that we will explain later on.
Without gate inputs, the CB signal alone controls the active output. However, if a gate comes in on any channel, it takes priority over the CV input. Clock CV mode. By connecting a clock signal to the clock input, Prior enters clock CV mode. This mode is similar to CV mode, but the outputs are only updated on each clock pulse. The clock acts like a sample on hold for the CV input, ensuring stable transitions without mid-step glitches. And remember, the clock doesn't need to be your system's master clock. Any rhythm signal will do. Clock mode. With the clock input connected and the CV input left empty, Prior enters clock mode. In this mode, Prior acts like a four-step gate sequencer. Input 1 functions as a reset signal. The other inputs can interrupt or reset the sequence in different ways, depending on your patch. Web tool and configuration. We have launched an online tool where you can configure module parameters and update its firmware. Simply connect prior to your computers via mini USB and visit programmer.jasmineandolivetrees.com. Here you can change the front panel, adjust the delay between gate input and trick some output. Useful if your oscillator needs time to respond to CV. 1.5 milliseconds works for most cases. We will release a separate video walking you through the connection process in detail. Like traffic, Prior comes with two alternate firmwares, each selectable by a configuration switches on the back. No computer required. We also include overlays for these in the box. Let's talk about the first one, Tour. Activated by flipping switch one app, a four output sequencer powered by a 32 step shift register. Generates evolving gate streams, integrates with TC couple mixers for multi voice generative patterns, controlled via gate and CV inputs, ideal for creative performance setups. Now, the second alternate firmware is called Steps. Activated by flipping switch to app, a four channel rhythmic gate sequencer with 32 step patterns. Features an XOX style step matrix editor, fully configurable via our web tool. Includes four multiple channels, an accent output, CV pattern selection, probability based gate triggering, and a configurable reset input. There's also space for a third alternate firmware. If you have an idea that fits within 5 gate inputs, 5 gate outputs and a CV input, drop it in the comments. If it's compelling, we might make it real in a future update. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy experimenting with Brio.